Thompson trying to sneak in behind the wingers, pinching off. Here's Ryan on the breakaway. Scores! And here come the teddy bears. Hey, I forgot to mention in all the excitement, it is the teddy bear toss tonight. Coming off the first ever conference tournament win in school history, today I'm joined by head coach of the D1 men's hockey team, Kirk Handy. How you doing? Great. Thanks for having me. Always. You guys, fresh off the road, first ever conference tournament, first year ever in a conference. Just talk about the significance of winning this, this conference championship. Well, it's a huge accomplishment for our program. You know, we have a, a, a young team and mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen our year progress nicely, and, and uh, for guys to you know to battle, really for the last uh, ten games, you know we've had our backs against the wall, and we've had to uh, we've had to been you know we're we're in playoff mode, right. and we have been now for for ten games, and and uh, you know for us to be able to achieve what we achieved this weekend is uh, is is a big thing for our program. Like you just said, ten wins in a row. That's humongous. What's been the, the spark plug or who has been the spark plug for this recent success? Yeah, well, there, there's been many of them. I think as you look up and down lineup, you know, there's, there's just not one person. But, you know, I, I see different people like uh, Zachary Roberts and Zach Hayes and Josh Hamilton being a big line that's really stepped up for us. I see guys like Jacob Fricks, you know, who's been who's been really progressed nicely for us as a defenseman on the back end. And let's face it, our, our goaltending has been excellent. Right. You know, Matt and Josh have provided uh, quality goaltending for us and, and it's a team effort you know we've got uh, we've got our lines you know that have been rolling Quinn Garvin and Thompson they've, they've they've been rolling our power play and penalty kill has been excellent and I think anytime you have you know strong special teams and you have your role players really stepping up and playing uh, significant roles Zach Hayes named tournament MVP and right. and Zach's uh, a guy who uh, you know he, he's a big part of our team but he kind of brings that lunch pail workman-like approach to his game and it was great to see him be named uh, term M MVP. Nice and when we you and I talked at the beginning of the season it was I think as we put a Richmond game you said the team wanted to be you know described as three words loving serving and accountability how is that how have those three words been demonstrated throughout the team this season? Yeah, I think loving and serving came a lot easier and being a, a, a accountable and I think being held accountable was uh, you know was something that we've had to develop and over the year, um, and I think it's something we've really seen our team uh, really develop and really become more accountable to each other. And uh, that's been, in my opinion, the you know one of the biggest uh, one of the biggest things for us. You know, we, we we've been working with FCA, uh, Rick and, and Mike came at the beginning of the year to yeah. that Warrior Fellowship, and then we've had Dave Jones who also works with FCA. He's been coming and working with, working with our team and. And those have been real critical elements of our success, as well as Brian Davidson, who comes in. Brian's our team chaplain. He comes in and works for the guys. And I think that those uh, pieces are, are huge for us and are, are big parts of our team's success outside of coaching and outside of, uh, of just, you know, the integral parts of the game, the thinking part of the game. You know, you're, we, we always want to make sure they're spiritually, mentally, and physically prepared to play. And, and so that's a big thing for us. And you, you, we talked at the beginning of the season also, and you said, want to have a big, want to be a big defensive minded team, want to be work hard, be gritty. And that's been the thing that's really drove you guys this year. But offense has really come along in the second half of the season. So how has the offense started to match the intensity of the defense? Well, it starts in the D zone. Right. And I think, you know, we talked about the goal tank. Goal tank's been mm -hmm. excellent for us. Our, our defense, has arguably been one of the biggest pillars for us this year. The, the guys who, who, who are back there for us have done an excellent job. And we really, you know, Mark has done a great job working with them and, and really helping them create to be the decor they are, are today. And offensively, you know, we've, we've found ways uh, to, be, uh, to be more efficient around the net. And I think for us, that's a big thing is not trying to, uh, not trying to overhandle the puck, but just to, uh, you know, to get more pucks in on net and, and to more, uh, create a, a desperation around the net that maybe we didn't have real early on the season. Nice, and Nationals are coming up. You guys are already a young team, but you've showed, these freshmen have showed that they're not freshmen anymore. So, win, lose, or draw, what is it going to take for Liberty Hack to be successful in Nationals this year? Well, it's good. It's going to take exactly like it's been for the last 10 games. You know, we have to have our backs up against the wall. We have to make sure we have everyone pulling the same direction. And we need to play uh, to play the style of hockey that is, is and has been a big part of our team's success. And that's every man uh, working hard, outworking our opposition, 
by, by taking advantage of our special team opportunities, both on the power play and have an excellent penalty kill. And then by having other players step up, the guys who maybe aren't, aren't your, you know, your, your offensive guys you see all the time, but you know, guys like Zach Hayes and Roberts and Hamilton and Clarks and Cranes and, and different parts of our team like that. You know, we've, we've been successful uh, regardless of who we've had in the lineup, guys coming in, guys coming out, you know, we've been successful. Guys are in there buying into what we're trying to get done. And that's the big thing, you know, they've uh, really felt, uh, you know, around uh, 10 games ago, that our guys started to move forward in a real positive direction and and uh, that has been a, a really nice process to see but we aren't satisfied with with uh, with what we've accomplished so far we believe that our our ceiling is a lot higher for for this team and you beat me to my next question I was going to ask has it hit yet that you guys are champions or is it you know hey we still got more games to play yeah we we succeeded but there's still more more left to the season. Well, yeah, for, uh, I don't think it's fully set in. You know, okay. we we celebrate uh, what what we did there. That was one of our goals to to win our, our conference championship, and we're able to to do that. But uh, we believe in the guys in this locker room, and, and we believe since we have before uh, like ten games ago that we had the capability to do what we're doing now. It just, you know, it, it, it really, uh, our margin for error isn't great. And so we have to have everyone focus in and dial in on what we're doing. And it's interesting, Gabe, because at Warrior Fellowship and all the things we've been working with Dave Jones and with Brian Davidson, it's all focused around the team and, and becoming and growing uh, together as one unit. And really feel like these past game, past 10 games have been a great opportunity to see us develop into our, our potential. And, and to be honest with you, Gabe, we aren't satisfied with where we're at. You know, we, we want to take it to the next level and, and uh, make sure that we're successful on the, on the national stage as well. Nice. Well, Columbus, Ohio is next for you guys. Appreciate your time today, Kirk. Absolutely. Thanks Good for luck. having me. No problem. All right. That's head coach Kirk Handy.